it is one of those times when you line up at the Pac-12 championships and you have no idea how it's going to go. You know, we have strong rivalries here in this conference and a lot of these races are going to come down to the last 250 meters, maybe the last 15 strokes. You know, as an athlete, from personal experience, it's, you know, you don't remember much of a regatta due to the demands you're putting on your body. You just hear that adrenaline rush of right as you get to the line, you know that we're here, we're almost done, and it's time to kick it up a notch. It takes special types of kids to be able to, when there's nothing left, to just be able to raise it to another level. That's the amazing part about rowing, is that when everyone collectively comes together and all puts all their energy together, uh, you can really change the boat speed and it's really quite, uh, pretty, quite special. When they got to dig down and then dig down and dig down and dig down, when, when you say, well, what are you feeling, coach, when you see that? I'm just like everybody else on the shore. I'm just enjoying an incredible effort and precise rhythm and focus of the athletes on the water. As a coach, watching the sprint is probably one of the most nerve-wracking things because that's typically what defines the race. So you, typically your heart's beating almost as fast as the athletes. When you're looking at the, the crews coming down, you see them almost as your children. Like I'm the parent and that's my kid out there. You know, it's pretty exhilarating, but it's, you know, once you push the guys off of the beach, that's it. 